Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to 2020 season of Skull Session. Today, uh, we are at Sate covering a few of the industry leaders. And with us, uh, we have Mr. Ravindran, the regional manager for India and Bangladesh for Sri Lankan Airlines. Welcome, Mr. Ravindran. Welcome. Thank you, Arun. How has Sate been so far? It's, it's amazing. And I was really underestimating uh, Sate. But I was wrong. I can feel that, you know, it is amazing opportunities are still looking forward for us. Is this your first time at Sati? Yes, because I recently took over Sri Lankan Airlines as a regional manager in Delhi. So this is my first time. Looking at Sri Lankan Airlines, uh, how is the airlines doing? What are your plans for 2020? Sri Lankan is doing extraordinarily well for the last few years in Indian market. And especially if you take uh, Northern India, and we have been just keep on just you know pushing our bars and now we have ended up with three flights a day where we started with uh, only one flight a day which is daily now it's triple daily and uh, if you take Mumbai we also again become double daily and if you other than uh, Delhi and Mumbai Chennai we have about four flights a day that uh, and all together we have 124 flights a week to India so that's how important is India to us so uh out of the Indian traffic, what percentage flies from India to Sri Lanka and uh, what is the percentage that goes beyond Sri Lanka? Uh, your question is really a comprehensive question to answer. I can't say this percentage. It varies from market to market. If you just take uh, southern India, it will different and northern India and western India, it is different. But overall, if you just take point to point traffic, I would say it is somewhat about uh, not less than 40 percent and some will go beyond Colombo but if you take certain markets it will be it goes up to even to 60 percent so on an average you can say a, a figure of 40 percent is point to point 40 percent is point to point interesting and uh, any new aircraft purchase uh, okay. happening this uh, year we are waiting to aircrafts uh, uh, to join our fleet in the in this 2020 but dates are not yet decided uh, one narrow body and one wide body and also that you know the first question that you asked I didn't answer uh, fully uh, the plans for 2020 uh, we are planning to uh, add uh, two more cities in India one is Ahmedabad and one is Calicut and closer to India is one is Nepal Kathmandu and uh, also in Australia we are planning to operate Sydney and uh, Southeast Asia is uh, Vietnam Saigon so these are the uh, the new uh, additions is going to be in 2020 as per the plan but it all subject to our aircraft joining our fleets and uh, we in 2020 it's going to be more focused towards uh, mice movements and um, um, individual traffics on uh, on the uh, basically we wanted to approach the consumers than the customers in between so that's our total plan but still it is going to be a real challenge in Indian market because still people are going to buy a ticket through on a middleman. It's going to be an, uh, what you call a, a travel agency or this thing. But we want them because we, 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 we want to grow with them. But our more focus is to get more offers direct to the consumers. That's our plan for the 2020. Since we're talking about the travel industry, I have, I have a very controversial question to ask you. A lot of airlines have uh, made zero commission, made it zero commission. What is Sri Lanka's stance? Is travel agents important in your scheme of things? Okay. So you already made the uh, made me into controversy. Uh, uh, yes, it is not uh, by the travel agents, we know. But uh, we don't have a choice of uh, that, you know, just to go away from the industry standards. Uh, but say that, you know, good news is that, you know, Sri Lanka is still not zero commission in the Indian market. Wow. Okay, so we are having 2% commission. So we have a lot of pressure from the industry and from uh, different parts of the world to just to go for zero commission. But we, we sustained and we managed to just to not to go zero, but we are still we are having it 2%. And uh, it's not going to be easy to just to have that one. But for the moment, I don't more run into more controversies. We are not 0% and we are 2% for travel agents. So still they can work with Sri Lanka. Honestly, I'm a little surprised, but it's fantastic to know when big boys in the industry, the aviation industry, are moving away to 0% uh, without uh, keeping in mind 
uh, the key partners that help them to grow the travel agents, uh, they're just putting them out and depending on technology. And it's it's fascinating to hear Sri Lanka is very travel agent friendly uh, airline. Moving on, uh, I'll ask you a question on the uh, consumer front. As you know, uh, India outbound travel is poised to hit 50 million in 2020. 40% of this audience are going to be Millennials and Gen Z. That's the audience you're going to travel. And uh, how is Sri Lankan Airlines prepared, one, to engage with this audience, uh, two, make it Millennial friendly airlines, and three, uh, I, what campaigns are you running on their behalf? It's a valid question and appropriate question at this moment of time. Now, India is, you know, being the closest uh, geographical location to Sri Lankan Airlines and Sri Lanka being blessed with just closer to India and it's, you know, it's a huge market and a uh, lot of diversity and uh, the two markets that we are specifically talking about we wanted to just to take uh, uh, opportunity out of that and we, we how customer friendly are the, to answer that question that we are just you know having a, a very uh, what you call state of the heart uh, 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 booking engine where passengers can directly take buy tickets on us and they can book their even the other travel services also, travel related services, which we call uh, miscellaneous services, ancillary services for that same. And also uh, the markets which we are served to uh, India, for example, say uh, Australia is the market which was uh, not uh, accessible to India with the connectivity with other carriers, whereas Sri Lankan Airlines is its daily product to uh, Melbourne and we are planning to add Sydney also in the near future and within two hours or three hours maximum they can reach uh, Colombo and they can take the non-stop flight to Melbourne. So and also if you just take in, in Far East that we are serving double daily or daily flights to Malaysia, Thailand and uh, uh, Singapore which also is a, is a very close market to all Indians if I would say. So taking all those into perspective that India is our most important market and 20% to 22% is coming our total revenue contributed by India or Indian routes per se. Uh, so that's 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 how important is Sri Lanka, uh, so the India is to Sri Lanka. So in that perspective as you said that uh, that uh, 50 million and 40% uh, of that, it's if we get a, a small chunk of it, I think our job is done. But the competition is so intense and huge. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, you did. Uh, still, uh, what are you doing to engage with this audience? Because uh, I've, I've travelled Sri Lankan Airlines a couple of times, fantastic airlines. I think it's, a, uh, it's very underrated to the service that Sri Lankan Airlines delivers. Uh, it's on par with any of the premium carriers around the globe. But not many millennials know about it. Not many millennials know about your service uh, the, uh, that you provide in flight, uh, your routes. Uh, your attractive fares that you all roll out and the connectivity that you have. So, how do you intend to engage with this audience in India? Yeah, first of all, I have to disagree with your statement because uh, we uh, Sri Lankan Airlines is, is, as you said, not underrated, but it has not uh, received what is the position it's due. But despite of that, we have been getting uh, lots of awards internationally and uh, if you just take most of our flights, I would say almost all the flights out of India which are operating to Sri Lanka, it's operating average 85% cabin factor. I mean 85% average cabin factor means most of the flights are going even sometime maybe even closer to 90% where one of the flight goes which will empty which will bring down the overall this thing. So it is uh, not as you said that you know uh, they, they are not um, uh, what you call underrated, it's maybe the awareness has to be a little bit more. But Indian uh, digital market or this, if you take that, you know, this um, branding market is so expensive and it's, uh, it's huge and it's so scattered and to have that much of investment is also for airline at this moment of time is a challenge. But still we are not, uh, we have not overlooked that one. We are continuously investing and we are just, you know, segmenting the market and we have uh, just, you know, investing to just to create the awareness and uh, uh, maintain our brand uh, perspective. But as you said, specifically what we have done for millennials, we may not have uh, done enough, which I have to agree. 
but uh, since that you brought up this one, I'll also seriously look into that time and we have to do much more in 2022 just to get the the maximum exposure from that segment. And what are your plans at Saturday today and next two days? Okay, so as I told you that, you know, I, I have really uh, underestimated about this uh, importance, but I just, uh, I would say, I accept that. Uh, and we have just come out with uh, some uh, frequent uh, traveler incentivizing program. So we have given special, uh, what we call, um, uh, offers in terms of extra bonus miles for the people who are enrolling in Sate. And also we have, have a special booth for Sri Lankan Airlines in the Sri Lanka booth so that uh, any B2B uh, conversation or any uh, two operators who wanted to just to do business, new operators, they can make the contact and they can just give their request. And also, uh, we are just you know in, we are discussing whether we can just uh, do some special offers to this one. But only thing, how that we can confine to this will be a challenge because here still, uh, as you said, this is my first um, uh, participation here. Maybe next time I can think about some uh, ways that how we can capture this audience and to get some offers. But uh, at the moment, I am not uh, just uh, having anything equipped to just to support this one. Uh, but still, I'm, I'm interested and I am more focused to just to get some exposure to Sri Lankan Airlines and the awareness. Mr. Ravindran, I have got to be uh, honest and candid about one thing. Uh, I've interviewed a lot of industry leaders. It's always uh, politically or diplomatically right answers I get. I think every answer that you have shared is from the heart. Uh, best wishes for your India uh, endeavor and best wishes at Sate. Hope to see you again next year. All the best. Now even today that you know I had uh, had some interviews. The question what you have just asked, you know, just you know, raise my bars up and uh, and I have to just to be thankful for that. You know, the, the right or the the, uh, the correct question that you have asked to just to explain about our position, especially that uh, the brand awareness, which I will just might uh, take away to just to work on it. And thank you very much and all the very best for this. Pleasure having you. Thank you. Thank you.